Try and find somewhere quiet. Ren, this way. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? No, come here. Come here. No, 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 no. Ren. Come here. Let's get a little bit of And this one. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, ball in a minute. <laughs> we need to get nobody around because you're chasing the dogs. Come here. Morning guys, welcome to my channel, welcome to a new vlog. It is Monday and always try and film on a Monday. So anyway guys, I hope you're well, I hope you're safe. How are you all? I hope you had a good weekend. Um, hope you're all sort of getting through this absolute crazy times of COVID and everything else. As you can see, it's a miserable day today and I don't really like these types of weathers, but it is what it is. For those of you who are maybe new to my channel, my name's Chris. I do uh, vlogs, uh, trip vlogs and normal vlogs, try and be as positive as I can. So I hope you like the beginning of this video. Um, I know you guys like Ren, so I thought I'd put him in. Um, I, did, I went for water thing yesterday, a place called Wormuth Low, and it's a really good place to water your dog. So I went up there, filmed a little bit for the intro, 
because the guy's a star, he really is. He's an amazing boy, and I love putting him on film to show you guys just how much of a star he is. So guys, before we get into it, um, those who are new, maybe new to my channel, maybe those of you who are um, just maybe found it and you're watching, if you like my content, maybe give me a subscribe, um, give the video a like, and if you leave a comment, um, I try and get back to people. Obviously, I'm be honest with you, I can't get back to everybody, but I do read all the comments and I appreciate everybody's support. So, to that end, I'm about to get loaded and we're gonna crack on with today's vlog. Oh, buddy, just one pallet. Do you want to wait till he's done? Is that where? Yeah, well, he's gonna bring that. Let's not back down there. Yeah, sure, that's what we're gonna do, but they're all like, no, 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 so. You can do. I was gonna do that, but the two guys there were like, no, 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 and like, so, I don't know. So just reverse down. Okay. Cheers, pal. It's crazy times, absolutely crazy. I've never known anything like this at all in my life. No. Oh, are you coping with it all? Your family all right and everything? Well, yeah. <clears throat> I'm living with parents at the moment. Um, they're in the 70s. My mum's got father in my house. So oh, yeah. It's, it's risky. Of course, yeah, yeah. So we just have to, you just have to. Of course you do, mate. Of course you do. because we're not meant to be touching anything and all this uh, he goes oh and what's that there he says you you all touch that book you all touch books says, i don't care we're not signing paperwork yeah, yeah. no no you sign it says look mate not signing it walked off and he's yeah, going yeah. well what's your name then what's your name well just ask me that in the first place yeah i'm following my rules yeah you know what i mean exactly i know it's not ideal but you know the times aren't ideal <laughs> Yeah. Do you know what I mean? This ain't the normal times for anybody. I mean, I could understand he's a Polish guy. If he doesn't speak much English, he probably gets a bit of anxiety about because he's doing his job. Mm. So that he's got to put someone's name down. He probably can't, can't maybe not write English very well. Yeah. But it's not what you say. It's the way you say it. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean on anything? I could tell you to F off in about 10 different ways. Yeah. All meaning differently. Yeah. But it all says, you know what I mean? So it's, <laughs> it's never what you say, it's the way you say it. Yeah, when we was, it was just after lockdown and I've got all these customers and he were kicking off. I says, look mate, I'll get you in as soon as possible. You've just got to wait there for now. Well, how are you meant to sell them anything if you can't be delivered? I was like, look mate, you're not coming in, just wait there and be patient. Yeah. <laughs> well, how long is it going to take? I says, well, how long do you think it'll take? I'll tell you what, if I'm... People and the amount of time I'm stood here talking Yeah, exactly. To That's what I was going to say. Ah, oh, he goes. I says, just be f***ing paid. <laughs> and then he comes in, he goes, oh, he was in a right mood. But I said, well, nice to him. I said, look, I'll be with you when I can, mate. We'll get you in as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah. Him at them coming. Like, oh, I'm in the mood and I'm having a bad day, apparently. And I guarantee people who know you know that that's not you. Yeah. So he's looking, he's trying to make himself look better. Yeah. Really, he's making himself look stupid. What he should have done is, look, oh, mate, I'm really sorry. Yeah. I was a bit grumpy. I was a bit, I had no patience, but I genuinely apologise. Yeah. He'd have gone like, don't worry about it, mate. I, I know we've all got time limits. The, as well, this gate, the council won't let any HGVs, including his own vehicles, apart from the van, come through that gate. Okay. Um, you get some, they'll come down, they'll turn in, and then they'll go, oh, I rang up and somebody inside said that I could come in through that bottom gate. And everybody in the branch knows that that gate is out of bounds yeah, for yeah. HGVs. Yeah. And it's like- It's you, more than the job's worth, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, say, so look, mate, you're lying. We know you're lying yeah, yeah. because everybody in the branch knows. You know. 
Apart from one, the tool line manager, he, he, he did it, he, he let somebody in and I went in and said what the driver was there, the driver said, uh, well, um, it's not his fault, no, I says, look mate, I'm not interested in what you've got to say, I said, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get to a point in life, you think, why well, should I fucking sit there and take shit off people? Exactly. If they're wrong. That's why I like my job, because I'm in my truck, I don't have to deal with anybody. Yeah, you, oh, you might have a little round, then you can just... Yeah, you can just go. Then, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's one of them, isn't it? It is, mate. Have we got a copy or is it just... No, yours will be on there. That's just my manifest. Brilliant. Okay, mate. Cheers, Sam. Thanks, mate. Right, mate. Have a good day, bud. Thank you, mate. Take care. You too, pal. I did have a phone call um, saying that um, if it is Panasonic, that there were five pallets coming, but one had been left at the depot. So uh, might only be four. I think there is five. Yeah. Depends when they got delivered. It, that, they, they might have been... Unless you were there. Uh, one, two, three, four. I know there's definitely, f I can see four. Yeah. We'll have a look when it comes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's fine. No okay. problem. So, yeah, you're all right along. Or even, or even back up there to ours. Okay. Because yeah. they can't, they can't block you from coming in. And well, I'll reverse back so the back end's close to the white van. Then yeah. you've got all this space. Back there and then you're yeah. fine. Fantastic. I mean, like I say, 90% of the time, no one will turn up. Okay, no worries. But you'll always get the odd day when he might come along and put a ticket on. No problem. Alright. Thank you. I think there's only four, I think, to be honest. I think there's only four, but it's... Right. A... Yeah, there should be five. The other one's coming tomorrow. Yeah, apparently yeah, so I'll yeah, speak yeah, to the lady. Okay. okay. Did you go to weekend? Yeah, no, I do. Yeah, it's good, mate. Yeah. What's your thoughts on COVID and everything? <laughs> I know, it's gone crazy, hasn't it? What, what do you think? What's your thoughts on it? It's just yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a, but I don't know. I mean, I believe it. I mean, I, I mean, I spoke to people who's had families in hospital and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, and just because some people who haven't sort of known anybody that's in there, they automatically think it's not. Yeah, yeah. But when you think of the billions of people around the world, yeah. it's a small minority, really. Yeah. But it's definitely there. And it's definitely yeah, real. Yeah, no, you know. All the day was working. Go home and just stay in. Yeah, that's what I do. I think that's yeah, all anyone yeah. does nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't want to. You don't want to catch it. Definitely not. You okay for sign for you, mate? You okay for sign the paperwork for you? I'll sign the paperwork for you, okay, yeah? What's right. your name, buddy? Uh, Bailey, that's Bailey. Great. Cheers, man. Okay. Thank you. Right. Have a good day, buddy. Cheers, buddy. How are you doing all right? Yeah, not bad. I'm asking people, because I meet a lot of people. Hey? I'm asking people, because I meet a lot of people doing this job. So I'm asking, what's your thoughts on COVID? Give all the balls what they're doing. You think so? I think they should just let it fucking do what it's doing. Take calls. Yeah. Pardon? Colours. It's what? Colours. What do you mean colours? Get rid of the fucking old, don't we? Do you right. mean, I mean colours, I don't mean colours. Cull. Oh, cull! Is it like... Uh, Kill. <laughs> do you reckon that's what it's for? Yeah. Do you think it's been man-made? Yeah. Do you? Do you, do you believe it's real, though? I know some people don't think it's real at all. It would surprise me if it's not. But people are dying, aren't they? That's what I mean, so, you know, people, I spoke to people who's um, got family that are, you know, they're okay, but they're, they're in hospital, through it. And I yeah. suppose until you sort of meet somebody who's, because obviously, I mean, it's, it kills a lot, it's killed a lot of people worldwide, but on the majority, like, of the country, it's not killed that many. No, I know. But, because of that, people have this idea that it's not real or it's never going to affect them. Uh, I look at it, I mean, my daughter, worked in the uh, Covid ward at my hospital there and she said it was horrendous. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, I've seen some of the video clips of some of them in the hospital and yeah. they're like in a vegetable state. Yeah. Having to be, I mean, that, what an awful way to die. Yeah, there's something about it, but I also looked at... I mean, years ago, a woman retired at 60 yeah. and a boat retired at 65. Five years after retirement, we were dead. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Five years of pensions paying out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now people are living till the 90s, so they're paying out pensions for over 30 years. So it's a lot of money coming away from the government that never used to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think this is one of the reasons why, and it's worldwide, yeah, yeah. that people are living longer. Yes, yeah, they are definitely living longer. I think there's definitely a conspiracy about it. There is something not right, I mean I admit that there is something but... But you get a lot of people swagging the government off saying they don't know what they're doing but what government has ever had to do this before? No exactly. Government has had to face it's, it. it's all precedent, no one's yeah. ever done it so yeah. they don't know. So you're swagging people off that they don't have much of a clue like everybody else. Yeah, and they're just struggling to try and yeah. figure it out as they yeah. go along. Somebody's got to take control. Yeah, so they're, they're really yeah. screwed if they do and they're screwed if they don't. That's right, yeah. So yeah. they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Yeah. Well, I think once they get a vaccine, and then they can do it just like a flu jab. Thing is, though, there is there's no, never been a vaccine for anything. Do you know, like, oh, I think oh. the Spanish flu. I know, yeah, that killed 50 million. Do you know what they had to do? Let it die out. Yeah. Because they couldn't control it. It's like, well. Well, I think this is going to be the same case again. Which again, will be what I say. Good colours. Yeah. Uh, there's also a, a way of nature wants a bit of back. There's only man that's destroying the planet. Yeah. Nature wants a little bit back. I don't think anything's bad in the world. I think everything that happens... Is down to us. Yeah, it's man-made. Yeah. Yeah. Through our own pollution, our own selfishness, greed, yeah. our money, yeah, exactly. you know. Yeah, it's like that's what everything is about. Yeah, everything. We're, we're like a plague on the planet. Yeah. yeah. We are, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Just living a rat race. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, if you get an nest of ants in, in your back garden, you get a trap, let one go through it and kill the old... Lot. Yeah, yeah. It's a similar sort of thing from my eyes. It's a strange way of looking at it. No, but no, because no, obviously you're breaking it down to sort of the basic animal instinct of it all. Yeah. Taking away emotion, feeling, yeah. and you're looking at it very sort of logically. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I think it is. It's, you've just got to, like the flu, you've got to live with it if you like. But if you're somewhere else that you're going to have to do, you've yeah. got to learn to live with it. But it's going to kill a lot of people. Yeah, definitely. Before that happens. Yeah, it's, it's bad, mate, it's bad. Yeah. What's your name, anyway? Uh, Gibbons. Cheers, man, appreciate that. Right, hey, do you want to sign the paperwork for you? you do, yeah. yeah, Gibbons, yeah? yeah. Thanks, right. thanks, mate, have a good day. Yeah. <sighs> Jesus. <sighs> Just use the glasses. <laughs> I've been wanting to do something like this for a while, um, get people's opinions on things like that. So, and obviously I did a stream at the weekend and there was conflicting views on COVID. One guy saying, I don't believe it's real. Um, and a lady um, spoke up saying, I got, I know people that have died from COVID. I've got somebody I know is in hospital. So I thought for this video, I would do something a bit different and get some of the opinions of people that I meet along the way and ask them what they think about COVID. It's quite fascinating, you know. Um, everyone's got their own feelings, everyone's got their own thoughts. And because it's such a massive, massive thing that's going on in our society, people are quite willing to sort of t give their opinion on it. And it's fascinating. Morning, buddy. Uh, I've got what, one pallet for you, mate. New Gable. Uh, pro, pro tour, yeah. Pro Cheers, pal. What? What is it you do? It's very white and sort of. What is it? Uh, contract making and packing. Is it? People bringing commodity items or whatever. And, uh... I was here the other day. That was one, and he was dressed in white and it's like all dust everywhere. I was just wondering what it was that you did. That was all. Just so interesting. That's all. Uh, if it was cocaine, I'd be. Oh. Um, I'd be retired now, but before. No, mate, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> insinuating that. I just wondered what it was, mate. I was no, all... no, it's Use it, it's calcium carbonates and stuff like that. Chalk. Is it? Roundup chalk, limestone. <laughs> Sorry, mate, that was we'll funny. Get that fix one day. <laughs> Break it. Yeah, just interested. I don't know it would be fucking cocaine, mate. Jesus Christ. No, no, I wish it was. <laughs> not that I take it, I'd be fucking retiring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, nice one. You, you, uh, you're done. Yes, mate, to the side. Quick one for you though, mate. What do you reckon for COVID? What do you reckon about it? Uh, 
What's your opinion on it? I wish you just fucking tell it how it is. Because the fucking majority are suffering from the minority. Yeah. I'm just like, I don't know, I'm just getting pissed off with it. I'm sick of hearing it. Yeah, yeah. Just fucking turn it off. I mean, great. You can't get away from it, can you? It's everywhere you go. I mean, it's, it is literally affecting everyone's lives. Society's changing forever. It is, it's in, in front of us. In, it might be fucking two years before we all get vaccinated. But then again, I don't think they will because you look at, um, they haven't found a cure for, um, I don't know, Spanish flu when that was about. Yeah, yeah. They just have to let it die out. 50 oh, million people died. God knows. Look at Rob, he has killed a lot of people, but so does fucking flu and car yeah. accidents. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think it's more to do with the fact of the consequences that, that what it could do. You know, they, they, they can sort of manage flu, but they realised that the infection rate was so high. Yeah, it's a small minority compared to the billions of people around the world, but if they don't take a grip of it on the long-term no, no, basis, no, true, true. do you know what I mean? It's like... Well, like my granddad used to say, what makes you bad makes you harder or something, whatever the saying was. Yeah, but that, that, was, that was when you probably get a <laughs> nail in your hand. Yeah, that's not like COVID and put you in well, a no. COVID day state, you know what I mean? It's like saying, oh, I've got AIDS, but guess what? I'm going to be stronger than the end of it, you know, are you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you know my, what I mean? My missus works in a watch called surgery. Yeah. She got... Uh, they got tested about two months ago. All of them got tested for the antibodies. Yeah, yeah. And she tested positive for the antibodies. But she's never fucking been ill. Yeah, yeah. It's just... Well, she, she, she could have had it, and well, then yeah, she... I never had it, but... No, she could have had it, and then just been not one of these people that shows any symptoms from it. Well, no, that's Do you true. know what I mean? And then she gets the antibodies for it. Whereas some people, you know, they, it takes them clean out of the game. I mean, my mate got a game called, a mate called Chris. And, um, we believe his whole family got it. And literally, he was ill for about two weeks. Oh, he's got a little girl. little girl. You know what I mean? And they had to yeah. self-isolate, and they were they were ill for a I while. Oh yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I mean, I don't know any person. That's what I mean. A lot of people say that. I, you know, I've not. Um, I've done streams on YouTube, and um, this one guy jumped up, says, "Oh, it's all fake." Then another one jumped up, says, "Oh no, actually, it's not. It, it's you know, I'm, I've got a family who's had COVID. I know somebody's in hospital now with COVID, but it's the old scenario. Just because." Um, they've never come across anybody who's got it, yeah, yeah, yeah. they automatically think they're, they're not going to get it, which is what probably why it spread so much, because I haven't got it, I'm fine. Well, yeah, yeah. I think we're wrong. I mean, if, if I go to the pub now, yeah, it's all sanitised and yeah, yeah. you wear your mask until you're sat down and blah, 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 no more than six. And... Well, I've looked at the news at um, Boris at three o'clock. I believe we're going to go into lockdown for a month where all bars, restaurants and casinos are going to shut and you only can go from, because obviously Greater Manchester, what the the infection rate, if you go to another country and it's, I think it's something like 120 and 100,000. Yeah, yeah. That's when they put it in the category that you, have, um, you come back, you've got to self-isolate. Great Manchester, we're on 500 to every 100,000. That's how bad it is. Oh, no, no, it is. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's gone. Is, is it universities? Is it not universities? Is it going back to school? You don't know, do you? you, just, you don't, is it coming from? Yeah, you don't know. You don't know, but it's as simple as things like you, people don't realise. So if you, the amount of places you touch, so you'll get up in the morning, and if you had a, um, so you get out of bed, and the little things that you touch along the way, you're walking down a corridor, you automatically hold onto the railing. You open the door, you touch the door. And those little, oh, yeah, thing, yeah. Those little things that you, you don't realise, because you, do, you touch your face, you know what I mean? And then that's how it spreads. But well, yeah, I mean, you just, it sterilises all in there. The yeah. Looking. But unless you go around, literally every single part of your office, or wherever you walk, sterilising absolutely everything, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, people's reactions, you're something to study talking. I don't know. On the I don't know. I don't know. That guy was hilarious. He was so funny. Um, and obviously, that's the sort of reaction I absolutely love. Genuine, you know, straight to the point. That is the way I feel. You know, whether you like it or not, this is this is the way I see things. And that's what I've tried to capture: the natural reaction of people. Um, and I told the guy. I said, look, I'm filming, um, is that okay? And, but I told him afterwards. Now, if he didn't want me to put that footage on, I would have deleted it. But luckily enough, um, he was happy about it. And that's why we got the, the thumbnail from that. The guy's a legend, so funny. Uh, and it's just a genuine opinion and a genuine reaction, you know. Um, yeah, I love it, I think it's brilliant. <laughs> What, what did he say? I'm going to have to handball it off. Well, what did he say, though? He's getting in trouble from the bosses. We've had our forklift being temperamental recently, so we've had it serviced and it's working. 
But um, <clears> in the meantime, we've had three, four weeks where essentially we've been asking them to un undo our stuff. Now, yeah, yeah. They, they, the lads in the warehouse <coughs> are perfectly reasonable. Yeah, them. I was here yesterday, I think, or like, on Friday, and the young lad there was fine. He was like, yeah, I'll do it for you, mate. He's, he's always fucking nipping around and helping us Yeah, he's a really good lad. But, um, yeah, apparently the bosses have had a work with them and they're getting in trouble for it. So I'll have to handball it. Okay. It's just my, uh, my forklift man's um, had his son sent home from school. Like, the entire year's been sent home because of this bloody COVID. Is shit. it? So now he's off for a week, and my other forklift man doesn't get back in until tomorrow. I was going to ask you, what, what do you think of all this COVID, then? I mean... Don't mind. Uh, I'm of the opinion now that if, you, if if I get it, then I get it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think even with face masks and gloves and all of this, I'm gonna. Because I mean, I'm, I've got a young lad at home and missus who's terrified to go outside. Yeah, yeah. So I'm literally doing all of the running around for everybody, and uh, it's yeah. I take the precautions, but there's only so much you can do. Of course, yeah. And I'm, I've got lads here that I have to work with. I was just trying to keep our distance, but obviously yeah, yeah. sometimes when you're doing a job, it's just bloody impractical. Of course it is. I was just funny enough, I was just talking to a gentleman before, and I was saying to him, you don't realise, so if you take the, the scenario of getting up out of bed, the things you touch, you don't realise, and then you take that into work, and then the things you touch, a railing, a piece of bar, a pencil, a pen, a work surface, and you can be as clean and as hygienic as you, you want. You can wash your hands as much as you can yeah. wash your hands, but, but I mean, not everybody's going to do the same thing. Or they could, they could actually, they could be hygienic, touch something by mistake, then touch something that you touched. So there's, there's never, you're never ever going to get away from it, ever. Well, we could do it here if we were all working <clears throat> in singular stations. Yeah. And then we'd just have our own area, which would be essentially contaminated by us. But it's then you have to have your own walkway. Practical. You'd have to have your own walkway to your work surface. You couldn't leave that, you'd have to have breaks at separate times. You'd have a, a separate area for your break area. You'd have to have a separate kettle, separate cup, separate spoons, literally, a separate kitchen area because if you open a cupboard you're touching that cupboard mm -hmm. and someone else comes along and they touch the cupboard and they touch the face that's it that's and it, 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 the, completely agree it's it, it makes sense but yeah. it's just not practical no and it's it's, it's completely impractical and it, I, I appreciate people try their very best but at the end of the day i don't blame all those students going back to school or anything like that it was always going to happen yeah of course because we can't get a vaccine quick enough it is going to spread and I don't want the old people of this country to die. No. But, uh, you know, and I hope we can get a vaccine quick enough that then most of them don't have to die. Of course. But at the end of the day, it's going to go, it's airborne, it's going to do it. And yeah, yeah. Fancy giving us our lifting all the shit off the I'd wagon. I'd fucking love to, but <laughs> we're going to have your dinner instead. So, you know what? I'll, I'll get, I'll get, the, I'll get the, the, uh, the back thing out. Don't worry about it. And we'll sure. get, yeah, of course, mate, yeah. Cheers, because as it's I say, just, I'm just stuck today. I wasn't expecting not to have a forklift driver, and it's, uh, it's a bit of a bloody nightmare. Okay, no worries, man. Thank it's fine, it's cool, man. I have come for a collection, uh, at NEP. Okay. Hi, buddy. Eight pallets, yeah? Yeah, it's, they're mates there, yeah? Cheers, man. Thanks, buddy. All Euro pallets are just one. Oh, sorry, yeah, they're really, um... Are they? So I, I was seeing if I've got another. I have to go to another place after it's going to be a room, that was all. Because they're smaller, aren't they, Euro pallets? Um, one, two. How many is it? Eight altogether? One, two, four, five. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll get them all on. I was just wondering if I'll have space to go to the next place, that was all. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Are you finding this uh, COVID and everything? Just said on the radio, got into lockdown, Cheshire. Cheshire? Yeah. So is that, is that, is, is it? We're Greater Manchester, aren't we? Yeah, this is Cheshire. So what, what's the restrictions? They're closing all the. Closing both gyms, all the rest. When from? Uh, not sure. I think they're going to make a decision this week. Or yeah. today. <laughs> Only fucking start to go back to the gym again. I know, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Do you know anybody's had COVID? Uh, I'm still there, bro. Have they? Are they all right, are they? Yeah, no symptoms. Just fucking got a task because he had to go to the hospital for a. Uh, to on his leg and operation. Yeah, yeah. They did a test on him. Fucking got it. No way. All right, though, yeah? Yeah, no symptoms. Yeah. Right, you. Get over along with it. 
No, no. No. Oh, I did. I've got, I had a friend who they thought he had it, him and his wife and his child had it at the very beginning. I'm pretty sure they had it because he was all really ill for about two weeks, bad chest and stuff. Tilt it forward. Oh, good. That's it. That's all right, man. Anything for me to sign or anything? Uh, no. Oh, cheers, buddy. Take care, mate. How's it going, George? Have a good day, buddy. Uh, it's been a long day, pal. I bet it's for you. You come in early, do the fork trucks and everything, don't you? Yeah. Well, it's Monday, it's like four o'clock when I get in. Can't, you can't push yourself like this all the time. No, don't worry, I'm on nights in two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Where is this shit, uh, See, I've done nights and it wasn't for me. It's killing me, I had no social life. No f all. Mm. I don't have a social life anyway, so I'm okay, yeah. <laughs> all right, buddy, you take care. See you tomorrow, man. Take me from your nasty breath. It's your shit breath. You protect the birds of your Your feet. shit breath, mate. That's what I was for. <laughs> <laughs> Smell it from here, mate. Ugh. That's what it is. <laughs> so you can just see your eyes so they don't realise how old you are. Hey, mate. You wish you looked as good as me. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hi, Chris. Is that all right with your locks it and. Yeah, yeah, it's it? fine. Yeah, man. It's fine. So, right, I'm pissing off and tired. You what, mate? I'm pissing off and tired. Yeah, no, that's fair enough, pal. You're on a long day, aren't you? I know. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, I think it's safe tomorrow, Chris. I think we're looking. Is it? Short trailer. Oh, I like that. It's, yeah, short seen... trailer, urban, point. And... Seems to get more of the dumb you know with that. I mean? Yeah, well, you, you're comfortable with that area now, aren't you? I'm comfortable well? with that short, short trailer as well. Yeah, well, you know what's funny, though, uh, Chris? A lot of Arctic drivers, they don't like driving that. I know because it's got a quicker turning on it. Oh, I love it, mate. Because it's more responsive, isn't it? Like yeah, yeah, it's like so much better. And whatnot, so. Yes, but, yeah, it's flight around. The Ren Ren. Hello. Who's he? Hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Here you are. Oh. You missed me. Good boy. <laughs> He's a good boy, aren't you? Hey? Yes, he is. Love you. Love you. Love you. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye bye.